Vess, one of the top questions. What do you use? New hunters, hunters who need a new vest, hunters who aren't happy with the vest they have. That's one of the top questions on Facebook, Instagram, all of the different pages that Upland hunters are frequenting to find out what's the latest and greatest to make them a better Upland hunter. Three years ago, I was in the same spot. I wanted a new vest. I had a Filson strap vest. It was adequate for a couple of hours out in the field. Pouch, a couple of front pockets, the straps dig in a little bit, those are not padded. I needed something that had more storage. So I started looking around and got recommendations to check out the Orvis Pro Series hunting vest. So I ordered one after doing review um, reads and asking a bunch of different people on Facebook and Instagram, you know, what they use. And I got it. And it took a little bit of time to get used to the straps. They're a little bit more heavy duty, nice padded strap. I had to shoot with it on, which is something I recommend you do no matter what vest you have. You want to shoot with the gear you're going to hunt with. So I just want to talk about the Orvis vest because here lately, a lot of new vest companies have come out. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the different manufacturers, but my feeling is that you should get a vest. It's going to work the best for you that fits in your budget, that has as many features as it possibly can without breaking the bank and has as much storage as you possibly can get out of a vest for all day hunting. I don't go back to my truck a lot. When I, when I go out west to hunt, <clears throat> I'll go for four or five hours out into the mountains, out into a prairie, depends on what I'm hunting, sharp tail, pheasant, whatever. This vest has a lot of great features that has made it my favorite vest so far. Three years after using this vest, there has not been one malfunction. Heavy duty fabric, the build is sturdy, but lightweight, and I can't say enough about this vest. Let's just go over some of the features. Like I said before, the padded straps are not super thick, but they give you a little bit of extra cushion to make it a little bit more comfortable. You're not gonna carry a lot of the weight on your shoulder straps, but you don't want something that's just straight fabric digging into your shoulders when you start getting some weight. No matter how much your belt supports that weight, you're always gonna have a little bit of shoulder weight, so a nice feature. Well, we're up here. Nice little hanging strap or carrying strap if you, like me, when I go down to my basement, I'll hang this up to dry out if I've been out in the woods, out in the prairie, it gets rained on or snowed on, gets wet. It's nice to hang it up on a hook down in the basement and let it dry out. Another nice little added feature. Straps are adjustable on the front for your height. You can adjust your chest buckle position on the front of these straps on both sides. So if you're gonna carry it a little bit higher or lower on your chest, depending on your height, nice adjustment range right here. Small little buckle, adjustment strap on the front of that. Adjustment strap at the bottom of each side to adjust to your height and tighten it up so you get that true pack set on your hips when you're wearing this vest out in the field. Nice vented back on this so if you're out in the prairie and it's a little bit warmer higher temps kind of keeps you cool keeps you venting on the back this has a little bit bigger buckle strap than i tend to like on the front but it hasn't dug into my belt as, or my waistline as much as some of the others have i don't really cinch my belt strap as tight as some people might on my vest um, i don't ever carry enough weight to make it uncomfortable even with all the gear I carry. Um, I'll go over some of that, but it's got a nice adjustment range. So depending on how big you are or how small you are, you've got a lot of range here for adjustment to kind of fit in your waist. On the bottom, it does have some extra straps for carrying a coat, an extra vest, maybe an extra pair of boots, whatever you want to carry. Nice little lanyard straps on the bottom making that extra 
gear carry drain holes while we're down here at the bottom of your pouch, your game pouch. Let's see what I'm gonna talk about next here. Let's go over the front pouches on your waist strap. Both sides have a snap enclosure, which I kinda like instead of a Velcro. Velcro tends to wear out. These snaps are solid and sturdy. Not that you're gonna snap your pockets a lot because on one side, you're most definitely going in for your shelves, whether it be left or right. I'm a right-handed shooter mainly, so I like my flap to always be open, but it does have a nice big flap, so if you wanted to flip it down, it does have magnet uh, enclosure as well, so you don't necessarily have to snap it. It just kind of snaps into place, a nice little feature on both sides. If you don't want to snap that, it still stays in place when you're walking. It's got shell loops on the inside of the pocket on both sides. So if you're out in the field, late season, you're using sixes, birds start popping a little bit further out, you get your backup fours in here, you know you're keeping those shells in separate spots so you can grab a little bit bigger shot, pull them out of your belt loops. Go to the left side, a little bit more storage on the left side my remote out of here. Um, show you what I like to do with that real quick here after I talk about this front pocket. It's got shell loops on this side too, but it has a nice little extra storage pocket here on the front. I like to put my keys in here or my cell phone. Anything that you don't want to lose, keys go right in here for me every time. I zip that up. It's just my spot because you, know, you don't want to go out and walk around in the prairie, lose your keys, and then you're kind of stuck when you get back to the truck. So nice big pockets. Uh, the only thing that I kind of wish they would have done on the pockets is make them free floating so you can adjust the position on your hips. I tend to have a little bit of an issue with a pocket that I can't move forward maybe if I wanted to. These are always gonna sit in the same spot on this vest. They sit nice for me, but if you might be a little bit bigger or smaller, you might want to have them move forward. That'd be one thing I'd like to see them change on this vest. Probably the only thing I've ever had a complaint about. Uh, depending on what remote you use, whatever you're using collar-wise for your dogs. And a nice feature here is on the back of the dog to a remote, they've got a nice big heavy belt clip, but it slips right into this loop on the front of my vest. And it's right here, nice for me to be able to reach up there and poke whatever button I need, collar, correct, beeper, but it sits there nice and solid. So, nice little extra loop feature function there. We'll flip around here, go to the back side of the vest. You've got your nice, big game pouch. Gore-Tex line, so it's easy to spray out and clean massive water bottle pocket. I've had some vests that have a little bit shorter pocket and they tend to bounce out. If you're crawling underneath a fence to go from one field to another, if you're walking across some walking areas out in North Dakota or Montana, I've lost water bottles out of some smaller, shorter pockets, but I've never lost them out of these. Uh, it does have the hy hydration bladder option on this model. It's got a zipper pocket in the game pouch that you can drop your bladder down in here, loop that out through the top, and then run it on either side on your front straps. So if you're lefty or righty. So I can always have plenty of water for me, plenty of water for the dogs. Uh, it's got an adjustable strap here on the back for your height as well for your game pouch. If you want to open it up a little bit more, this is a nice little feature. If you want to fit more birds in there, if you want to Carry more gear in there. You're out in the field, you know, you're gonna need more room or more gear. You could always stick that down in there. Really nice, big, adjustable game pouch. Lots of storage on the back of this vest. Start out with the top pocket here. A nice felt lined pocket. So this could be another place where you stick your phone, keys. I tend to carry a lot of different stuff in here. I've got a wind checker, a lighter. Lots of necessaries that I might need when I'm out in the field, far away from the truck, depending on what time of the season it is. Some zip straps. If I need to 
get out and carry the dog, zip strap my gun to my pouch or something, some fire starter. Not a huge pocket, but you can see I fit quite a bit in there and I probably could fit more. Uh, it's got a little key loop. If you want to stick your keys on this, put them in the top pocket and zip it up. Like I said, I put mine on that front pouch. I like to be able to grab it right there. A really nice big pocket below that that can carry a ton of stuff. Not that you're gonna have dry boots, but if you jump in a creek, get your feet wet, maybe a dry pair of socks. I got a charger in here from my phone or my GPS. Trimming shears for your birds, you're gonna clean them in the field. First aid kit. I've had to carry dogs out quite a few times. I invested in a harness. I can use that to carry the dog out, so that's in there. Extra pair of boot laces, just in case <clears throat> one of my boot laces break. And that's just what I've got in there right now. I've carried lots of other stuff in here, so a massive pocket back here for storage. Overall, I recommend this vest to all my friends that are starting to upland hunt. Um, anybody who's looking for a new vest. The price point on this is $198 for the Orvis Pro Series hunting vest. It's well worth every penny. Uh, I wouldn't spend more than that on a vest that has less, which I feel a lot of the new vests out in the market have less for a third again the price, $300 on some of them. But like I said, you can't see any wear and tear in this vest from three years of use. And I'm not talking about just here and there use. We hunt out west several times a year. I guide throughout the entire fall and nothing has broken worn down the color is still bright on the you know the safety orange all around and just a great it's a great vest love it i would not recommend it if i didn't love it and use it so if you're looking for some feedback on a hunting vest for upland hunting and you want somebody's opinion who's used a piece of equipment quite a bit and has found just about nothing wrong with it. This is what I would recommend, the Orvis Pro Series hunting vest. It's, it's been a great piece of equipment. And I will probably use this until it falls apart, but at the rate it's going, I'll probably use it until I'm about 70. So if you're looking for one, check it out. Right now, I think they're actually on back order because they had kind of a heavy hitting year here in 2020 with the, the whole pandemic. So they sold out. It should tell you something about the vest, so. Check them out today, Orvis Pro Series hunting vest, great piece of equipment.